Hey everyone. So this is a video that I've been meaning to make for quite some time. I just haven't had the chance to get around to it, but here I am today. I'm going to show you how to use a graphical interface for Extract XISO. Thanks to the creator here, Kilo445. We have one that's really good and one that I could recommend to all of you. So from the GitHub, we can just scroll down. This is exactly what it looks like. We'll scroll down here and the first thing we need to do is make sure you have your prerequisite. It uses uh, .NET Framework 4.8. And if you don't have that installed, you can get it from here. The next thing is getting the software itself. So I'm going to always choose to go portable for myself, but you can choose to install it if you like. We'll head over to the latest releases and I'm going to go with this zip right here because this is the one that's going to be portable. This one will let you install it. Choose your path. Now, once you have that, I already have it extracted out on my desktop here, along with the other things we're going to need. You're going to need a game. Now, a lot of times what happens when you find these games from the internet, or if you happen to extract it yourself from your Xbox, when we go to load the game, it may not work. So we'll go to our desktop here. Let's grab the game. And I always like to reset. As you can see, it didn't launch. So what we're going to do is exit. And here we have the application. Inside, there should be three items. I'm going to go ahead and click on the application. Here is the application. So this first step, very simple. To convert the ISO to an X ISO, we're going to click on rewrite. Very simple. Now we'll find our file. And that's the one that's in this folder. And now we're going to tell it where to go. So I created this X ISO folder here. We'll tell it go there. And as you can see, nothing in here so far. And once we click go, you're going to see a little terminal pop up and it's going to ask us if we want to open up the other window and we'll say yes. Now off screen, the terminal showed up and now it's done. We'll press any key. And we can close this and open this. You can see that now we have a new version of the ISO and it's significantly smaller in size. If we go to the other one. We can see that this is about 7.28 versus 1.82 now this isn't the case for every time you do this as some games have more information on the disc than others so now with that done we'll go ahead and launch the emulator again let's load that disc so from our desktop xiso folder and always reset the machine and there it is it just launches so this is a new way that I recommend you guys do this pain free few clicks and it's done. I hope this helps you guys out. If you liked it, give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I will have this linked in the description or in a pinned comment. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.